What's up, Makeup Minions? I'm Kim Witty from Witty Artistry, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, please hit the subscribe button below to become part of the Witty Artistry family. I have transformed into Captain Salazar from the most recent Pirates of the Caribbean movie for my entry into Nick's Face Awards, so let's get started. Whenever I do a makeup, I really like to map out the design using an eyebrow pencil. So I'm drawing in all the super awesome cracks that Salazar has on his face. He actually has part of his face missing and one of his ears are actually gone. So I'm drawing in all those cracks and I thought it would be really cool to incorporate some 3D material into this. So I'm using a two-part silicone material, mixing it together. You got about a 10 minute working time, so you kind of got to go fast. So just apply it in sections. But basically I put it on in a snake over the lines I drew, smooth out the edges into like a little bit of a hill, and then go through the center of each glob using a metal spatula to create the actual crack. You gotta wait till it's dry and it'll be kind of shiny, so just powder it with baby powder. I decided to use alcohol activated makeup for this look because it sits on the silicone nicely. I'm ripping holes in a wedge sponge just to create a sort of textured thing to apply white, blue, and a little bit of black makeup to my face just to make me really look dead. Also using the blue in a really diluted fashion, you can make some really cool veins. Just drag them out and then blend them out with a little bit of alcohol and they'll totally look like they're under the skin. Use a little bit of a stipple brush to add some texture. Moving on to those cracks. I am using a mixture of black and brown to just fill in all of those fissures that I created using the two-part silicone. This is a mixture of brown and black just to really make them look deep, add some shadow, and I'm sort of blending out the edges a little bit. I am going to be coloring my cheek chunkies with a mixture, <laughs> cheek chunkies, with a mixture of green and black, making sure that I feather out the black on the edge to create sort of a drop shadow. Then with a white cream paint, I am going over all of the edges of the cracks. This will just really make it look like there actually is a ledge and there is dimension to these cracks that we've created. Darken those eyebrow hairs with an eyebrow pencil, fluffy them up with a spoolie, and then really make them look beefy and manly using some black eyeshadow. This is how you get them manly caterpillar brows. Mmm, yeah, so fabulous. Salazar has had a very rough life. <laughs> I have done this take three times and I can't say rough, rough life. Oh my goodness. But I am making him have a lot of wrinkles because he has had a tough life. So I'm using gray eyeshadow and I'm wrinkling up my face and accentuating those wrinkles and making my eye sockets look super deep and super tired. So just add a bunch of black around your eyes, smudge it out, make it look dirty, and then go over your lips just to deaden them up a bit. Make some wrinkly faces on your lips and fill them in. And give yourself some stubble, cause you are a dude now. With my eyebrow pencil, I'm moving on to the jacket. This part was so challenging. If you want to save time for the sake of costuming, I would say buy a jacket or modify a jacket from like Goodwill or something to look like it. But I really wanted to test myself for body painting, so I decided to paint it on. Make sure you follow the reference image. I found this cool image of the movie poster from the Pirates of the Caribbean um, trailer, and I'm following that as carefully as I can. I'm filling in all of the areas that are going to be darker with black and then I'm using white over the black which sort of mixes into a gray to create the stripes and banding on this guy's coat. It's very military-esque, it's very worn, um, it has a lot of texture in it too so after I put down black I like to go over it with white cream makeup and really make it have that like fuzzy pilled texture. Fill in the button thing with black, go over it with white and I'll be creating lots of buttons for my coat using white body paint. Fill in all your extra little accessories and your collar with black. And whenever I want to create depth on a clothing item, I like to use cream makeup, white cream makeup, and just kind of dab it on. And the more you add, the better the highlight. Also, every good clothing piece needs a drop shadow. So always outline the lower edges of your clothes with black body paint. I am filling in my ascot adding some white highlights again. Moving on to creating a cast shadow. This is really important. Use black eyeshadow on the lower part of each piece of clothing. This will make it look like it's actually casting a shadow on your skin and it makes it look way more realistic like you're actually wearing it. Do some dance moves, cause why not? Create your collar's cast shadow. Don't forget to fill in your little medallions. 
or is it a metal band? I'm not really sure what that's called, but outline your tassels. Give your collar a highlight. The entire coat is covered with this cross hatching, so I'm just doing that with some white body paint. Draw some black hash marks on your metals. Outline your buttons. Don't forget their drop shadow. And also I'm adding a little highlight back into the center of the button just to really make them pop. Highlight the tops of your metals with that white cream makeup. And I am now creating the metals that he has. One of them looks sort of like a cross. One of them looks sort of like a star. And then the other one kind of looks like a ninja star. And add in some muted yellow tones into that as well. Add some final touches to your little baby buttons. This is my favorite part. You get to make the coat look distressed and awful and disgusting. So with black body paint, I am dabbing it on. I'm attacking the coat with lines and hash marks and a sponge. Just go until you think it looks as old as you want it to look. Salazar is literally cracking off into the wind and disappearing. So to make your ear disappear, just cover it in black, outline the edge of the cracks, and just powder it so it doesn't have a shine. Don't forget to deaden up those lips. I almost forgot. So go over them with white cream makeup and emphasize those smile lines. To make your hair look super gross, I'm using a technique people usually use in zombie films by putting an excessive amount of conditioner in my hair. Make your teeth disgusting using some sort of tooth color. Make sure it's mouth safe and wait for it to dry before you shut your mouth because it tastes awful. Add in some ghost slime and you are done. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I totally appreciate it. Please let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you don't miss any new videos. I had a blast becoming Salazar. That jacket was such a fun challenge. I will see you guys next Saturday.